is what's up this is it back to you with another female another female video and today okay so uh, most of you notice this new event it's called the la liga rivalries now uh, i'll be making a short video on this a couple of minutes and giving you everything you need to know about this event so okay by the way before we get into this please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel if you're new and do drop comments uh, by the way guys i have a bonus coin making tip at the end of the video so stay tuned anyways let's get right into the video Okay guys. So, uh most of you have seen this event. Uh let me give you a brief about what this event is. Okay. So, uh there will be four games. Uh one between Real Betis and Atletico Madrid, one between Celta Vigo and Villarreal, one between uh Sociedad and Sevilla and one between Barcelona and Real Madrid. So uh these are going to be the four games. Now each game will unlock and unlock three events and these events give you 5 points, 5 points and 10 points. So you'll be getting 20 points per day from each of these. Now I'll drop a chart uh, or a screenshot or something uh which gives you an explanation of how many points you'll be able to gather up until the last day. So uh if you can see this, this event lasts for 25 days. So uh I'll add a screenshot which shows everything. for exactly how long you'll be able to uh, how many points you'll be able to get out of this one okay so uh after the screenshot you'll notice you get around 1400 points so basically you'll be getting 1400 points if you play all these events every day now let me tell you what the rewards are so uh for every match you win you get this uh you get this reward atletico victory token you can use this reward to claim any one of these three and uh, if you decide to go for this event you can claim any one of these three now uh, the rewards on the left side are a little low and the ones on the right side that is worth taking a bit they are a little uh, better but they also cost more now uh, let me tell you how you can enter this event so it says it requires an 80 year old team of all atletico madrid players including the four atletico la liga rivalry players so these are the four atletico uh, atletico madrid la liga rivalry players you need to get all four of these after you get all four of these you need to have a team which has 11 players of only atletico madrid now everyone must have the attack mode reasman so uh, i guess you will have about five players so you need you need to buy six more players from the market or you can use any of the players you already have to make an atletico madrid team only and it should be at least 80 overall now uh since there are four matches so there'll be four events now let me tell you this uh, you get 20 points from each event per day this unlocks after 7 days 10 days and 13 days so like i said you'll be getting a total of 1400 points so now let me tell you how much it costs to get these four players so 45 for this 50 for this 325 for this and 375 for this the total comes up to about 995 Out of those 1400, you're going to need 995 of them to get these four players. Then you're going to have to get Atletico Madrid players for other six positions in your team. And then you can play this event. Once you win this event, you get one point. You can use it to win any one of these three awards. It's going to follow the same format for all of these, but the points you're going to require might be different. For instance, the one for this uh, Real Betis costs 325 for this, 275 for this. 225 for this and 40 for this the total comes up to about 865 now uh this means it's going to be different for all the teams uh, i think the ones for barcelona and real madrid are going to be the most so uh you might want to save your points if you want to play for them uh, any free to play player can easily complete at least one of them i don't think any of them are going to require more than 1400 points so any free to play player can complete at least one of them now For those of you who have some FIFA points and don't know what to do with them, you can buy these packs in the store. Uh, these are special offers which will be available only once, and they will be available only on the match day. Now, if you want to go for Atletico Madrid, I say it's too soon, so I say it's best if you wait till the El Clasico. Once the El Clasico game starts, you'll have enough to get any of them. Now. Uh, I would recommend not opening more than two packs. Uh, let me explain how. So let's say the one for Barcelona or Real Madrid costs about thousand points. You get fourteen hundred. You'll have eight hundred. You'll have four hundred left. Now, after claiming those four hundred, let's say you claim a player. Now you want to get any one of the other two rewards which are available. You can do this. 
you can buy this this gives you 100 points and then you can buy the second one this also gives you 100 points once you have 200 points you can use them to dream let's say this xp so you had 400 and you got 200 from these two packs so uh, if you guys want to spend coins on the store you can buy one of these two packs or both of them depending on how many you need there's also a chance to get extra points if you get about 100 to 400 extra points then you won't need to buy a second pack this one will be so one will suffice now uh, there is other another thing uh, you see this pack over here don't buy this one it's a waste of points unless you want to spend like 10 15,000 15 points then it's different but if you're going to spend only one or two kp points i'd say go for this pack that should be enough okay so i've explained uh, how to get the tokens and how to get the rewards you want this is pretty much it for the live for the event so this is the bonus tip if you go to the market and you check players from Atletico Madrid, Real Betis and even from uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona or any of the other teams, they are pretty much going extinct in the market. So this could be one good trading opportunity for you guys. You can invest in players from any one of these and then once the prices go up or when the event starts, you can sell them again at higher prices. So if I were you, I'd consider waiting up. Uh, storing saving coins up to buy some of the players because the prices might go up especially during the last game for Real Madrid and Barcelona okay so uh, that's it for the video see you guys later peace